around in an earlier time, but you know the elections were always as partisan as they are now, but after the election, then we all came together, and we, uh, under open rules, we did what we thought was best for the country. And we did pretty darn good. But that's, that's gone out the yeah, window. Big exactly. money has taken over, partisanship, gridlock. And um, the only reason why I'm able to get anything done is because I don't go to the call center across the street. I spend my 30 hours in Washington working <laughs> with my colleagues and trying to fix what I can fix and get done what I can get done. See, we, yeah. I know it's probably impossible. Can't you limit what senators and representatives can spend on your campaigns? Oh, absolutely. I've got a bill in to do it. Most of, the, most of the democracies around the world have election contests that last anywhere from 40 to 60, 70 days. Um, and and I, I don't know what the mag, my bill in calls for elections that last like 50 days. And I, I'm not sure if that's the exact right number, but I do know this. I do know this. It shouldn't be 365 days a year, every year. Yeah. Right here, right here. Well, this kind of goes along with uh, this question you were just talking about here. And I'm wondering uh, how hard would it be to eliminate corporations or people too? Well, that's Citizens United. That's what I'm sponsoring. I got the first Republican coming on with me now. And that's to say that corporations are not people. And money is not your speech, because I don't believe they are. How much um, Jen? I just want to say something on a happy note. Um, as you know, I lost my husband, and I have had to go through all of this end of life kind of thing. I want to say that the Social Security people have been absolutely wonderful. I have gone to the Social Security office in Gray and they 